All right, in this video, we're going to do another example using Heron's formula. So in this case, what we have is we want to find the height of a triangle. Um, and the side lengths are 9, 7, and 14. And again, we just want to find this height. So if we, if we knew that there was, uh, you know, if this, the, the height cut the base in half, and we could say that this is 7 and this is 7, then we could use Pythagorean theorem. But that's definitely not true in this case, so we've got to be careful about that. We do, however, know that the area of a triangle is just, well, one-half the base times the height. Well, we can think about the base as simply being 14 here. So if only we knew the area, we would have an equation we could use to solve for the height. But this is where we're going to use Heron's formula to actually, to actually calculate that area. Okay, so let's use Heron's formula. It says, first we've got to figure out the semi-perimeter. So we add all the lengths up, and divide by 2. So 9 plus 7, that's 16, plus 14, that's 30, over 2, or 15. And now it says the area, it says we take that value 15, and then we multiply that by 15 minus 9, each of the side lengths. 15 minus 7, and our other side length, which was 14. So we'll have 15 minus 14. So let's see, um, 15 minus 9, that would be 6. Uh, 15 minus 7, that's going to be 8. 15 minus 14, well that's just times 1. Uh, you could always multiply all this out and make it into a decimal. I think I'm going to try to just simplify this by hand. We'll see what we can do. And usually, you know, if I want to simplify a radical, I want things factored, so I'm not going to multiply them out. So let's see, we can write 15, that's a 3 times 5. 6, we can write that as a, let's see, just a 2 times 3. And 8, we can write that as 4 times 2. So let's see what we can't uh, pull out. So 3 times 3, that's a 9. And we can pull the 9 out, well, as a 3, we, when we take the square root of it. It looks like we've got a 4 left over. Well, the square root of 4 would be 2, so we can pull that out as well. Um, notice we've got another 2 times 2, which would be 4. The square root of 4, again, would give us another 2, so we can pull that out again. And it looks like, to me, we would just be left with a 5 hanging out underneath the radical. So. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. So to me, uh, it looks like the area of our, our triangle is just 12 root 5. So now let's go back to where we were a second ago. Now I'm just going to uh, use this value to uh, solve for h. So again, we said the area uh, in this case is 12 root 5. So I'm just going to plug in 12 times the square root of 5 on the left side. Um, We've got 1 half times 14, that's going to be 7, times h. Well, now all we have to do is just divide both sides by 7. And if we divide both sides by 7, we'll get 12 times the square root of 5 over 7 as our height. Okay, and you can always plug this into a calculator if you want um, a decimal approximation. But, but that's it, okay? Just, again, the idea... Area is one half base times height. Well, we don't know the area. Hey, we can use Heron's formula to find the area. Um, and then it's just a matter of doing a little bit more algebra to actually solve uh, for that height.